when this life is o'er, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. Fly away in the morning when I die. Hallelujah, by and by. I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. That's happy music, and we're happy today. So glad to be able to come to you on this edition of From the Shepherd to the Sheep. And today we have a guest speaker, my protege, Brother Tyler Candy. He's doing a great work for God, and we're so pleased with him and what he's doing for the Lord Jesus. We welcome him today. Brother Tyler. Hello, and welcome back to another From the Shepherd to the Sheep daily devotionals here at Central Baptist Church. We're very thankful that you are deciding to join us this morning or this afternoon, whenever it is that you are listening to this podcast or watching us on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. Would you share this with somebody else? I hope that it'll be a blessing to you, but I, I know that there's somebody out there who can be encouraged or blessed by what God has to say to us today. And why don't you also open your Bible or look up there on the screen and you'll see the verse that we're going to read from our King James Bible from the book of John, John chapter 14. John chapter 14 and verse 27, the Bible here says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You see, this is Jesus here speaking, and he's speaking to his disciples, and he's promising them that a comforter will come, another comforter. He's speaking about the Holy Ghost. But upon all of this, he tells them that they're going to have peace. Peace not like anything they've ever experienced before. And you and I can have this wonderful thing called peace. You see, a lot of people decide they want to promote world peace. They want to have world peace where there's no fighting, there's no famine, there's no war, none of that. And that's a wonderful thing to strive for, but it's just not going to happen on this earth while we are here. Not without Jesus Christ. Not without uh, Jesus intervening and making everything perfect. And that won't happen until after the tribulation, after the rapture, all of those things in the book of Revelation are fulfilled, will we actually have world peace? So it's something to strive for, but it's not something that's ever going to be attained in our lifetime while we're here on this earth. That's man's peace. That's what man, through his vision, decides this is what peace is. No fighting, no war. That's not what God's peace is. God's peace is through Jesus Christ. God's peace is through the Holy Spirit that you and I can have every single day if you and I are saved. If the Holy Spirit dwells within us, we can have peace. It's not man's peace, but it's God's peace that we can have. He says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. It's Christ's peace that we have, not, not uh, any of the disciples' peace, not any of the king's or the president's peace, not any peace that you and I can think of on our own, but it's Christ's peace that we can have. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. You see, he gives us peace through the Holy Spirit. He gives us peace through our soul, through our spirit, that we don't need to be afraid of anything that's going to happen to us. You see, he says, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. There's no reason for you and I to be fearful. There's no reason for you and I to be afraid. There's no reason for you and I to have any concern about what's going to happen to us. If God is in complete control of your life, we can have peace. We can have true peace, biblical peace, peace from God. Not the peace that you and I may have if uh, we've escaped a certain ailment, I've been battling a, a sickness for the last week or so, and I was never afraid of anything. I just wanted to get better so I could get back to everything that I needed to get done. I wasn't afraid because I had peace 
that God was going to protect me, he was going to protect my family, and he was going to get us through this period of time. I was never afraid. I was never troubled. I was just dog sick, and I didn't want to be sick anymore. You and I don't need to be afraid. When, when we get the report that there's a cancer in our body, we don't need to be afraid. We don't need to be troubled. There's going to be a, a human response to that, which is, uh, which is almost human nature. It's almost one of those things that we, we don't have any control over. But in reality, if God is in control of our lives, if Jesus indwells us, if we have the Holy Spirit, we can have God's peace. We can have the peace that Jesus gives to us through any circumstance that you and I will have, that any circumstance that we go through, we can have that ultimate peace, that wonderful peace that isn't given to us by another person, but instead it is given to us by Jesus Christ himself. I hope that this can be a blessing and an encouragement to you. I hope that you'll pray for revival, contend for the faith, and may the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for that. What a blessing. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you so much for what we've heard today. Help us now to know for sure that heaven is our home and that we're living in the center of your perfect will. With our heads bowed and eyes closed, if you've never been saved, call upon the name of Jesus right now. He's the only one who can save you. Just pray something like this from your heart to God. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me, and right now I receive him into my heart as my own personal Savior. If you prayed that prayer, won't you let us know? We'd love to rejoice with you and be a help to you. And right now, I want to encourage everyone to keep winning souls and keep on living the Christian life. Father, we thank you for the Christians out there today who've been encouraged and are going to go on for you today. Help them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know... The only way we can live this life for Jesus Christ successfully is by His grace. Join me if you would. Amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me I once was lost but now I'm found was blind but now I see God bless you today listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.